Once you get past the core basics into the next level of communication, it's magic. That's why in this third video in a five part series on how to move through the major language levels in the Yoruba language or the Igbo language, I'm gonna be covering what is the second major language level, which is the level of communication. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Krista Dakeja, creator of Hack Nigerian Languages. It is my mission to empower individuals with a desire to learn the Yoruba language or the Igbo language to successfully do so, even with little to no background in the language. So if you would like more tutorials on how to successfully learn the Yoruba language or the Igbo language, think about subscribing. Okay, so let's dive right in. So far in this series, we have covered what is that first level in the language, which is the level of the core basics. We have looked at a couple specific skills at the core basics level. We've looked at how to master the tones, how to master the greetings. Today, we are going to dive into what is the next level up in the three main language levels, which is the level of communication. This is the level where, where you may not be able to communicate in the language for hours and hours to do a long conversation. You can still use the language for real purposes in your everyday life. It feels amazing. Now there are four main steps to achieve in the Yoruba language or the Igbo language at this middle intermediate communication level. The first step is to determine what are the most versatile, commonly used language skills for communication. So this stage is so exciting. You wanna get here as quickly as possible. So do not rush through that core basics level, but make sure that you get that down, right? So that you can get to this communication level. So you're really gonna be thinking about what are those language skills that are the most commonly used, that are the most versatile, that I can use for a variety of purposes in my everyday. You're gonna be thinking about what are the most common sentence structures, what are the most common verbs, grammatical structures, phrases right? The emphasis is on versatility. So for example, it would be very versatile for you to learn how to say, I want to blank, right? You can use that for so many different purposes in your everyday life. You could think about how many opportunities that you'll have to practice. The second step to master the Igbo language or the Yoruba language in the communication level is to put those skills that you just identified in a logical order. So hopefully you've already identified, okay, here are the most versatile skills, the most commonly used skills that I can use to really communicate with other people in the language. Now you're going to order them from highest priority, most commonly used to less priority. It would be super useful to know how to say, I like to blank than it is before you go and memorize a long list of like 50 different animals for example. Animals are nice, but to learn to say, I like to blank is so much more versatile. So you're going to order those skills that you identified in step one from highest priority to lowest priority. The third step is to find high quality sources that teach those skills. Now the emphasis here is on high quality. We always wanna have high quality sources, right? But at this communication level, when you are really um, able to use the language for real purposes, you are going to really wanna make sure that the sources that you are wanting to learn from are sources that you can trust. Especially because you might be getting into some more complex grammar for the first time, you really do not want to confuse yourself. So do yourself a favor, make sure that you have identified high quality resources to teach you these skills that you've been identifying in this step. And the last step to master the Igbo language or the Yoruba language at this intermediate communication level is to find the best tools and study techniques to master each of the skills that you have identified. Now at this communication level, it is definitely not just about memorizing vocabulary lists anymore. Hopefully it wasn't from the beginning, but definitely at this stage, it is not just about memorizing vocabulary lists. You're probably going to be getting into memorizing longer phrases and other types of idiomatic phrases. For that reason, just relying on traditional flashcards probably is not gonna cut it for you. You're really gonna have to be creative and dive deeper to find out what are the most effective and efficient study skills to memorize things like phrases and some more complex grammatical structures. And that's crucial. When I first entered the communication level, I was super excited to be able to use the language with my husband and my son in a way that I wasn't able to before, but I was not really able to realize that I needed to adapt my study skills to match the higher level of the language that I had achieved. It took me a little while to figure that out. So do not make the same mistake that I made. Make sure that your study tools and your study methods 
fit this new level of the language that you are at now. Now, if you want to learn more about what the whole process is like to learn the Igbo language or the Yoruba language, be sure to check out my free Master Yoruba Master Igbo checklist. You can find that link in the description below. And if you want my help navigating the entire process of learning the Yoruba language or the Igbo language, check out the Learn Yoruba Learn Igbo Toolkit course, where I show you how to create a bulletproof plan to learn the language. I give you the specific skills that come into play at the three main language levels, including my recommended resources, recommended study techniques, and I show you how to continually adapt your plan for continued success in learning the language. So to learn more about the Learn Yoruba Learn Igbo Toolkit, be sure to check out that link in the description below. So thank you immensely for watching this video. I'm so glad that you have decided to join the Hack Nigerian Languages movement. So to make sure that you're updated every time I post a new video each week, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so that it lets you know each time I post a new video. And be sure to look out for the last video in this series where I'm gonna be covering what it means to be at the advanced conversation level in the Yoruba language or the Igbo language. So be sure to look out for that one. And with that, I'll say Kodi Odabo, and I'll see you next time.